This is the story of Thomas W. Lawson. His life is much too rich a chapter in New England history to cover thoroughly here. However, I hope the highlights presented here create a great interest and awareness in this remarkable man and his life. Thomas W. Lawson was born February 26, 1857. By the time he was 30 years old, he had amassed a fortune of around $40 million. He was a stock market whiz and made his money in copper. He was called the Copper King. In his heyday, Tom built an immense estate in Situate, Massachusetts. On this estate was a mansion he named Dreamwald. This shot of the billiard room is one of few photos of the interior of the original mansion. This shot of the dining room gives but a hint of the elegance and charm of Dreamwald. This is the central portion of what was the back of Dreamwald, which now faces Branch Street. This is actually the front left-hand side of Dreamwald, with kitchen and servants' quarters on the far left and the main house to the right of it. And this again is the front, this time showing the guest quarters on the far right. The guest quarters alone had four fireplaces, one of them hand-carved slate depicting Captain John Smith entering Situate Harbor, and also a library of hand-carved teakwood that took a German carver six years to complete and cost Lawson a quarter of a million dollars. This is a painting of a small portion of the Lawson estate, Dreamwald being out of sight by the American flag, and Lawson Tower to the far left, a birthday gift to his wife. Another painting here gives one some idea of the vastness of his estate, as these are just some of the stables with his riding academy at the center. Pictured is the Lawson flag at the far right. Here again is another shot of more stables. They stretched more than a quarter of a mile in each direction and housed his prize-winning horses. This is the Thomas W. Lawson, the world's only seven-masted schooner. It was built by Tom Lawson and used successfully for many years shipping cargo up and down the East Coast. Lawson then decided to use the schooner for transatlantic shipping, and the Thomas W. Lawson sank on her maiden voyage to England. She floundered in a storm not far off the British coast. The captain of the schooner had had a feeling of foreboding about the transatlantic voyage and had resigned shortly before the voyage to England. Here Tom is boarding the Lawson Flyer, the train he built that ran from Situate to Boston. Tom would have his coachman take him a few hundred yards from his mansion to board the flyer, and Tom would be in Boston at State Street in 28 minutes, faster than anyone in Situate has ever commuted, before or since. This portrait of Tom Lawson expresses the strength of character that made Lawson the commanding personality he was. He was probably about 50 years old at the time this was painted and was still riding high in his amazing career. Here is a portrait of his wife, Jeannie Lawson, painted around the same time. She was born September 6, 1857, the same year as Tom. She was truly the love of his life. Tom worshipped and adored her and was devastated by her death, August 5, 1906, shortly after this portrait was completed. This photo gives some indication of the caliber of life Tom Lawson and his family lived. His daughters are no doubt having the time of their lives in their pony cart, while Tom stands close by with one of his prize-winning bulldogs in the foreground. Here is a later, playful photo taken on one of his daughter's birthdays. That is not just a pile of hay there standing on. It was packing material to protect some fine gift imported from England for the birthday celebration. It was typical of Tom's lavishness. When Jeannie Lawson died, Tom was deeply grieved and never fully recovered. He had these two stone chairs carved and placed one over her grave and one where his would be 20 years later. Tom used to visit the grave site, and sitting in his chair would grieve and talk to his beloved wife. From that point on, Lawson's career plummeted. He lived a life fuller and richer than most can imagine, and died broke. 
Thomas W. Lawson died February 8, 1925. His life was fascinating, dramatic, touching, and tragic. His is a poignant story of a man who knew better than most that happiness is never for sale.